Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible in Legendary Iron Man with permanent uh, dark events, a double enemy squad site, uh, yellow alerts, uh, ABA for better enemy AI and about 60 plus extra mods that make uh, my life a living hell. We're in month number six and things are going so and so or they used to go so and so. We lost about a third of our missions. Um, we're actually in month number five. I shouldn't uh, forward too much. We've just entered kind of the mid game, I would say. Um, but things were only going so and so because we lost 30% uh, of the missions, quite a heavy set of casualties as well. But that is about to change because look at those prime stallions of soldiers now finally in powered armor. It feels like hundreds of hit points, but, although it's just 20 per person, but that will be enough to uh, just shake off all of uh, the hits that we're getting. So I did some reading between the last mission and this one and know a little bit more about the research for all of uh, the potential new aliens. I, d I haven't understood all of it, but I roughly has an est have an estimate and I also read up on the aliens that we have already fought to get a better feel for what their actual abilities are. We're up for an investigation of a large chrysalid swarm. I could use a second, uh, a second pair of shredding. And since we, well, you know, we do have a couple of other grenadiers. Uh, let me retract my statement here. We definitely need a second shredding and uh, I would save Zirkum so that he can go in with Endors the next time but maybe we're, ta we're actually taking Bubble for now mainly because uh, we will be able to load more grenades on them and I need more high level grenadiers good the spark can still repair a bit that is fine and we will take uh, the spark on the next mission but with the ammunition here, we are better off using a grenadier and those two grenades will really help us. That's two explosive grenades, two grenades here, and we got one grenade uh, for our uh, freezing, which might be helpful. I have no idea what we're going to run into, but it kind of suggests that there are a lot of uh, chrysalids and I can only imagine they will have a lot of armor. Uh, so AOE explosions are the right way to go, also softening them up for death from above. Let's jump right into the mission. Very good. So... That's a new line that he is saying, that's from the DLC. Hitting a town on the coast? That was a new Fundland's uh, throwback from the Legacy DLC. Cool. Like it. Um, and all of this seems to be custom made. I like that as well. Let's take a peek and see what we're dealing with. What? What? All right, what? Even for lo uh, long war standards, guys, this is a little bit uh, stretching it. Typically, you would not see like what, 45 enemies on the first screen just parked outside of vision range so that a stupid player could uh, easily walk into them. Well, two can play that game. <clears throat> I will kill zone. It's worth it. 
Oh no, faceless ones? No. Heading out. Good. Moving into a defensive position. We're standing our ground here in the corner. I'll take the high ground next turn. But I was hoping that uh, our... <coughs> our... Uh, kill zone will give us a bit of an advantage. So, cannon here, overwatches. Thank you. Shadow, I'm honestly not sure what to do with you. Problem is, I can't really see a position where he would be safe. Maybe here. Upstairs would be great, but these civilians here are blocking the way. Hmm. Let's try here for now. All right. So, I am hoping those guys will just jump on each other and I can chime in next round. Like, what are the... Ch what, what can we do, realistically, against that many enemies to begin with? So, bandits are starting to move in. Okay. Chrysalids are triggered. Fair enough. We are hitting, but they can dodge. Okay. Well, they they hurt quite a bit. Three points is no joke. Wow, this guy even deals three to six points of damage. Must be the kind of extended version of the small of the small um, chrysalids, chrysalid needler. Good, that was the overwatch from threat assessment. Oh, smart one. That collector must die. It's pretty much in the corner there. Maybe this house here, the high ground, is a good place. Not yet 100% sure, but there is, I think, a remote start north of it. So maybe we're using that. Please, don't waste your shots. Oh, interesting. Those small ones are uh, are shredding. On top of everything that they're doing. So we better won't get hit because our armor really doesn't mean much. Really what I did is I helped the Dark Elders. Oh boy. Overwatches are now removed. That's unfortunate, our sniper immediately took some damage.
Good, now it's Dark Elder's turn. I hope that they would retaliate and kill at least a couple of uh, these uh, chrysalids. Oh, come on. Wow, my PC is stutter stuttering. He's, it certainly doesn't like the map. If uh, we are fighting that many enemies, I think I will fast forward from turn two onwards. Uh, everything that's basically happening in uh, in the aliens turn because that is too long we're 10 minutes in soon and it was only turn one what a messy mission just seeing larger aliens further into the map And I'm seeing a lot of aliens that seem to be just running all across the map with hundreds of uh, with hundreds of movement speed. It certainly doesn't help if you give everything like the ability to pounce, which means double move and attack, and then like what 18 movement. All right. The bandit for once are finding success in killing something. I have the distinct feeling that they won't last though. So he's moving in, killing that kneeler and triggering a whole new side of the map. Needle explosion. What? Oh, the needlers explode. He literally just killed 40 enemies. Yeah, we need to get our sniper into cover. I wasn't expecting that once again we're seeing El Eldars being triggered and then immediately they can react and are just attacking us instead of the hundreds of aliens here. Okay, so all things considered, that was actually a reasonably good first uh, round. Uh, now it's the question, how do we retaliate? I would say we're going in as far as we can. And now it's time to... Retaliate against the... Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe I can work with the needle explosions. Who knows? Okay, let's start. Ripper, no. Ripper, no. I want those needlers. They seem to explode. Rifter, rifter, drone, no. Needle ripper. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, that's what I'm talking about. The enemy is upon us. 
Need a ripper. Good, hasn't killed anyone. Need a ripper. Needle Ripper. For starters, it is helpful to get rid of them because I don't want them near us. Okay, we're continuing with death from above. Reloading. As he has reloaded, it is time to hand over a teamwork. Ripper, Ripper. Warrior Assassin. The Warriors can shoot back, so unless it's a hundred percent, I don't want to do it. Good, just trying to thin out the map a little bit. <laughs> Those needle explosions just got rid of everything. Billy G, free reload. And what we could do is we could try to shadow fall one of them and kill them to get concealment. Not sure if that is a good idea, but it's not the worst. I mean, he could be our scout. Could do that later in the fight. I think we still need his DPS now. Remnant heal. Okay. I thought there was someone moving over here. Yeah, I was right. That was the drone. Okay. I don't want to waste the axe yet if we can help uh, if we can help it. Instead, sonar moves a little bit closer. Yeah, that should be good enough. So we got Implacable, which we could use in order to get up here and block the entrance, but that means I got to deal with those ranged enemies first. Very nice, that was a free shot. And let's get into full cover. Very good. So Dilly G worked out fine.
Good, we are fully reloaded, so might as well get a few chrysalids here and there. The ones that we couldn't get with the needler, needler trick. Seven hit points, yeah, that's good. Minimum damage. All right, they will die. They will die, but it still sucks. Moving bubble forward, offering an alternative target. Same over here in full cover. Would have moved to here and then potentially charged in further, but who knows what 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 awaits around the corner. You shouldn't continue with another mistake just to get one mistake corrected. I thought we had seven damage. I misread. Double move, okay. More aliens are coming through, more chrysalids. Luckily we do have four armor with cannon. So we can take a hit. Very good. Take the bandits out. They tend to always focus me, and I don't like that. <clears throat> and the elder melee units are fighting against this brood mother. Another brood mother over here. Did she just pull that big guy over? No, that didn't happen. Fantastic, more chrysalids. Brute mother, mother is uh, luckily called Brute Mother because it apparently does exactly that. Create new chrysalids. I think they just killed that giant, um, yep. Okay, so we're seeing some retaliation. Kill the brute mother. And now it's up to the bandits. We do have a... Well, it was already up to the bandits. They are dead. We do have a solid position. It actually is working relatively well. Now, of course, with the chrysalid cocoons and so on, things might soon become a bit more problematic. But for the, the initial um, brunt was stopped. And I can't believe that it is round three and... There are about 15, another 15, around 40, and, and around 10 corpses here. So give and take were kind of 80, 70, 80 corpses. Granted, some of them are civilians and so on, but 
quite a few uh, uh, quite a few uh, casualties in and it is just round number three wow just wow Okay, I needed to take a short break back. Let's get it going. So we do have slight injuries with Dilly G and uh, also Cannon here. Euler had taken a bit of a hit. Ripper, Assassin. Can't really see many more. I think we would need to move up in order to see these guys. Which is fine. Oh, I would love to go in and just slam that assassin, but I think that's not a good idea. move to here could alternatively ripper 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 root mother Those are all rippers. Good, we're moving a tiny bit forward with Grell. We got teamwork is a fallback option. Sonar begins to move closer. Can't really see that guy. Soften him up. That is not really softening him up. I mean, I could go to here. And use teamwork in order to pay him some respect the next bridge is over there i have no idea what's on the bridge for all i'm concerned it could be quite dangerous Good, so you know what? Sometimes the right move is not necessarily the fancy one. Let me try the following. We anyways needed to reload. Just trying to be action efficient here, okay? Can't fully get all of these guys yet. Because we're still bound by that one prime collector. And I don't want to push too far in. Equally, we gotta remove this huge amount of cover there. There we go. So now, we are in a much better position. Because all of a sudden, tail and rounds hit, and tail and rounds kill. Can unfortunately not reload, but what I can do is stand over here and prevent any of the aliens to come up further. Plus, we do have um, Blade Storm.
Okay, we entered Shadow. I thought she was uh, she was spotted out. Maybe I'm wrong. Careful with the Ripper. That could spot us out. Just need to make sure that we're not in the line of uh, running. So that's a nice combination. Nothing says F you as much as a huge explosion. That apparently triggers a few needle explosions. Moving over here. To be our front line and I think it's fair to just take the shot overwatching with Grell very good good he's all, all of a sudden he stands in the open reconsiders still takes the shot because he just does not care for his life We killed the brood mother. Correction, we killed one of the brood mothers. Wow. That thing is dangerous. Pulls you close and then creates a breeding uh, sack for more chrysalids chrysalid hunters Ugh. that's a nasty combination yeah you should go for the brood mother not for the cocoon Good, Dili G needs another heal. Reloading. Bubble reloads. And ends his life. Very nice. Ripper, Cocoon, Hunter, Elder, Hunter. You know, what I think we would do is taking that high ground to get better uh, odds when we're taking shots. Oiler moves up. Let's give him an A protocol. 
that will provide one overward shot and if he has one overward shot might as well give him a second one Carefully moving over here, just to scout the bridge. And sure, why not? Let's see if we can kill something. No, the answer is no. Sure, if maybe save that, but... It's unlikely that the Elia, uh, that the chrysalids uh, will stay on the bridge. They know that there are targets here. Wow, the brood mothers are hardcore. Good, so much for the elders, for the dark elders. They literally just created more chrysalids, many more chrysalids. Good, time to take high ground over here. We still got three reloads, so... That kill zone is just what we were looking for. Bubble moves up, bubble overwatches. Putting sonar right next uh, to uh, to Euler will be helpful just in case something jumps up. We do have death from above. Euler reloads and overwatches. Wow, it's getting worse and worse. Good, that was the only ranged enemy. And that's the queen. Root mother, rather. Nice. Okay. I'm wondering how many hit points um, did they... Uh, how much movement did they give her? She was... She was zooming through the map. Like, even for chrysalid standards, that was terrifyingly high. These guys have 50 movement. She might have had 30. She was rushing from one end of the map to the next. All right. Now we're in a classical chrysalid ambush situation. One that you would expect. If you say so. Moving a bit closer. One, two, three. Sounds legit. We're f uh, doing a free reload. And how about a face-off? 
Yes, please. Good, that softens them up nicely. Which, in return, we're going to use Death from Above. Shadow is just scouting. Good, we're moving back. I'll come back to that camp in a bit. For now, we gotta deal with the remaining chrysalids. Reload Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. And we're continuing to overwatch. Let's see if some of uh, the chrysalids are coming in. Small ones are still looking for us. No way. Those guys are still breeding. More chrysalid birth. Alright, our elaborate overwatch trap works well. Three more chrysalids in the corner. One small one on the bridge, and one that ran all the way over and created a new chrysalid. Good. Reload. Overwatch, uh, reload kill, death from above, and we are continuing to overwatch. In the meantime, let's just get bubble up here for extra fun. Good, slowly but surely. We are all over watching. I am on the move. Watching comes naturally. There is another kind of chrysalid cocoon over here. He's just trying to create new chrysalids. Smart. Very smart. Okay, so I got one. Boy, what what a bloodbath. This he was all covered originally in enemies. Time to get the 
more remote chrysalids down. Reload, kill, overwatch. Good, I think we got all of the chrysalids from the corner. They should be gone, which means it's just this cocoon here, which is creating further hunters. Good. We're moving closer. Yet again. So easily set up for Exploding this car so... That uh, the chrysalid dies, but also the civilian. One less civilian means one less potential chrysalid. It is an unfortunate way of thinking about it, but uh, that is reality here. 100 enemies and that does not even uh, account for the few civilians that also got killed so and 100 enemies on a very small map i think normally the idea was that you're kind of gradually moving further in and the hive will just push into you but I think with the double enemy squad sizes, it ended up that the entire map was populated with enemies. So much so that we couldn't even move one tile forward uh, without triggering. And those brood mothers, they were quite nasty. Pull like uh, the tongue pull from the viper and then apparently uh, infect and then another uh, slash for seven eight points of damage luckily our arm upgrades have helped us because i think without them it would have been a quite close call Nice. Good, we're going with Guardian because it's a fantastic ability. Sona got a promotion. Finally gets untouchable. I love the skill. Shadow gets a promotion. And we got 27 points to work with. Additional Claymore is a given. Banish is great. I like that. Uh, we might use it. But Shredder is also really, really good. Sting is also good. And so is Soul Harvest, by the way. Interesting choice of abilities. So almost like Kill Zone and Squad Side. We can. Uh, make the Reaper a sniper so once it has lost cover go back to the uh, go back to the back and uh, start sniping it's just missing death from above yeah banish is potentially too good to not take it although shredding in our particular case isn't bad either Combined with Sting, Shredding is very good, but I think individually Banish is better and we don't have uh, more points. Heavy Ordinance uh, is a must-have, but Holo Targeting is also really, really good. Supplies. 55 uh, Ripper Corpses. 
Oh, wow. Hello, Commander. And we got ourselves supplies and intel. Very good. Very good. The intel will go a long way and the supplies equally will go a long way. Say, if we were to upgrade something, what would it be? Like, from all of uh, the things that are available. Hogbite's uh, melee attack? Potentially not. I think it would be the granite launcher. And a nice um, chassis. Oh, those are those are the biggest chassis. Three hundred supplies. That's that's a lot. I think we're going with granite launcher because we're really using that a lot. I could buy, build viper rounds for twenty five supplies, which isn't bad. We can produce a more effective Venom round. Oh, that is Viper Corpse plus Venom round. Oh, that's an upgrade to the normal Venom rounds. Okay, cool. Yeah, good. Let's just do a, a more effective uh, Venom round. I want to test that. Good. We're still having a few supplies. Uh, I want to upgrade the rest of uh, the armor next. So let's save for that. We can start construction on the shadow chamber whenever you're ready, Commander. Resistance communications wouldn't be bad either. Or shadow chamber. Good. There is more intel, which we currently do not need. I much rather want to make contact. That'll give us more income. And I think we might even be able to make further contact. Wow, look at that. New income. Uh, but every new income stream comes with... Uh, comes with a problem. In this case, it's the Warlock. 160 Intel. Not liking it. Integrated Warfare would be great for the PCS effects. Okay, I'll just do that off screen real quick. And because the mission is already so long and I don't want to um, do a single ambush mission. Uh, as an as a single episode, it just it's just not worth it. Uh, we've seen these multiple times, and you can sneak by no matter which enemy. All right, see you in a sec. Very good. So it's relatively easy with Hawkbite uh, to get out of there. He earned his extra plus one health, and I realized that <laughs> Murphy and Hawkbite have exactly one point seven out of 10 points of synergy so they are not going to become a bond anytime soon i imagine murphy just talking to hogbite and uh, telling him kind of the la latest most and inappropriate jokes and hogbite at some point it was just shut up dude or i'll fist punch you so hard that you will never talk again um yeah so that kind of ended their friendship there are no professional acquaintances and that's about it and we wanted to actually con uh, continue hunting the the nasty hunter plus two aim not too bad i don't want to let it go to waste so the question is who's getting that aim let's give it to zirkim putting him together with enders on this and 
Inappropriate Murphy is helping them out. Is that what I'm seeing? You know what? Let's try something else. How about we're putting Implicable up here and attacks here and then it reduces to 13 instead of 14 days because they are bond level 2 and there's no chance for an ambush so that's actually quite good we save a day and they all get experience boy oh boy our prime team is out of order and we only got the secondary team let us hope that there is no additional mission that is just about to come up. Now would be the optimal time to screw us over. Like, this is really a bad time. So, in order to get more contacts, we need a resistance, um, resistance tower here. And potentially, potentially, we also need to build the resistance, uh, the resistance contact center next. Hundred supplies. We don't even have that. Time to shortly go to the black market, earn some more supplies. We already sold so much. One, two, okay. Good, so one one more corpse. You know what? We're taking one Alarium Crystal. Good, exactly a hundred. Enough to get some more supplies. I need that income and I want to expand badly. That second continent bonus would be fantastic. We need all the help that we can get in the upcoming uh, month, uh, weeks and month. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. 266 supplies. Over the past month has been significant, Commander. Can summon hunting allies. Pack hunter. Okay. Good. She gets a new ability. He basically just cracks down our uh, economy. And yep, they are all cracking down our economy. We need to counter that. Recursor 3 out of 3. Creating a mech unit capable of deep cloning an, an enemy damaged by its rifle. Oh, okay. So it shoots and effectively clones whatever target it hits. Well, that is nasty. I could take plus one resistance contact here for now, temporarily, so that we can expand further. Two hundred sixty-six supplies. I think there was something that we could already upgrade. There was an arm upgrade, but I almost think it was three hundred. And a nice, yeah, and it needs more alloys, so that's a nobo. And Hogbite's upgrade needs more alloys as well. So can't really do much about that. I want to continue expanding for now because we really need the income. And I also want integrated warfare. That's a fantastic bonus for us. Modular bullpups makes the skirmisher weapon better. Not to mention the automated systems. There's nothing quite like 
I'm wondering, should we just get that and call it a day? Because uh, then we do have an option to infiltrate the facility without expanding. On the other hand, we could. Let's just... For now... Ah, I need to make the decision now. You know why not? It's just two days and it is really good. Having that facility lead alleviates so much pressure. I know what I wanted to build. Resistance comms. There you go. Good. This is still being cleared out. Improve our bond. Yes, please. Well, there is still tired. Okay. Got you. Um, Salvo is good. Salvo can be good if we give her a heavy armor, but it's not natively the uh, the ability that I would have chosen. I much rather take Holo Target to counteract uh, the stupid amount of uh, defense that enemies are having. Glass padding would definitely be good for Sonar. It's a great ability. But let's not spend our points too early. Dilly G, covering fire, that's cool, together with uh, kill zone. I like that, I like that a lot, but we are not having the APs yet. Wow, we got kill zone here as well. Hmm. I wonder if he gets squad side with it. Potentially not. There's no limit to the amount of kill shots. Kill zone utilizes squad side even if the grenadier does not have long watch ability. <laughs> okay. Maybe that is a good investment. Boy, that would be 25 uh, points, and we would invest quite heavily into Euler at this point. I'll wait. I'll wait with it. I deliberately did not want to spend any AP. Inappropriate Murphy just got kill zone as well. Love it. And got Shredder. I'm sponsoring you that one bonus point from our pool because shredder is good good and i think the rest did not get any promotion or any extra points um although bubble got a promotion this year isn't bad but Frankly speaking, holo targeting isn't bad either, and I would rather go for holo targeting because there are quite a few enemies that do have um, a form of um, defense, and making it easier for everyone to be able to hit them is actually quite helpful. Good. Can't believe it's still the same episode. This is going on and on and on. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Good, we got West Africa. I am ready the worst uh, pos uh, po uh, possible thing that we could have gotten, but it still makes sense. It's not bad. We are short on alien alloys. Um. Let's just shortly go with psionics. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. 
Continue further upgrades of bonds. Yes, please. We're reading you. And look at that. 150 extra income. So we're now over 300. Okay. We're potentially purchasing alloys because I want plasma weapons. Like, badly. So... Willing to spend the last intel that we had instead of expanding. It's easier to get intel back than it is to get alloys immediately. And yes, here we go. Plasma rifles. They are good. They are very good. So getting the basics done, having the uh, heaviest armor and rushing plasma rifles, exactly what I, uh, what I think we need, just in order to stay in the game because We've we've now reached the point where uh, where we've uh, have a, where we are having a power spike. Like the armor really helps us, but make no mistake, we're barely at force level twelve. So it, that's sort of halfway. You're starting at force level four in legendary. Uh, that's halfway to force level twenty. We haven't even seen any of the uh, end game enemies, let alone like a map with really a high number of uh, end game enemies i would say we're continuing to make in uh, intel down here and i'm pretty sure sooner or later a mission that will give us intel will pop up Look, 120 intel, I told you. The moment that you have no intel, the game wants you to get intel. And apparently a um, an engineer. Operation Empty Spark, rescue a VIP from an advent cell and avoid security robots. So that looks a lot like uh, the one of uh, the missions where we could use blue screen rounds. When it says security robots, Saikon's so mind hears. Let's go into engineering. Uh, let's go into build items. And we're getting another blue screen. And maybe an EMP grenade. They are not bad, they can stun. Uh, opponents since we do not have a mimic beacon yet that m might be a form of crowd control which we could use you know what let's just get one good and that already costs us quite a bit of supplies but we are okay because we're going to get some more soon A war suit wouldn't have been bad either. And that costs another 45 supplies. Are we really wanting that? I don't think so. Not at the moment. Yeah. Anyways. It's far over an hour. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoy the hive just as much as I do, leave a chrysalin like down below. And uh, all hail the hive king. See you in two, uh, two days. Bye-bye.